we are trying to start from uh, an uh, tragedy in Taiwan that happened at the end of this July, that's an explosion. We don't even know that there's a propane uh, going underneath through the downtown Kaohsiung, that's the southern of Taiwan, and it went off. So that caused uh, like a, a, a lot of uh, casualties and uh, casualties and so on. So, uh, but fortunately, that happened at midnight, so we don't see like uh, the massive and huge damages. But we are thinking about uh, what will the local resident think about? They need to know the latest status, and what will the NGO think about? And what will the government agency think about? So. We would like to share some experience uh, according to that, uh, the disaster we already suffered from. So the volunteer would like to help, but when they went to the uh, affected area, there's no task assigned. So this time, NGO trying to like unhold first. And uh, we also uh, like uh, experienced about uh, there's too many, too much uh, resources donate, uh, donation to the affected area. So this time, this, the city mayor uh, delivered the latest information through Facebook. And we also find out that the information provided by government is a little bit uh, slow and scattered. So this time there's a uh, community trying to organize the information from the media, from the government. So we are thinking about maybe we should think about the people who we engage, not to think about the tool or the technology we are trying to use. We will stand in their foot and uh, trying to say, okay, if this tool is suitable and practical for them. So we think about the government, they would like to send out the latest uh, needs and the request to the NGOs and the, the uh, public. So they would say maybe they will be, uh, we need 20 volunteers there. And the NGO can quickly reply according to this official request, saying NGO A, okay, I got several volunteers on the way, and NGO B said, okay, I got five uh, volunteers on the way, and so on. And the NGO, of course, they would like to also publish the information to the uh, government agency and to the public about, okay, here's the shelter and uh, here's uh, where I pro provided the support to the public or to the people who was affected. And uh, the community would like to also gather in and collect the information from the internet, maybe from the media, from the, somebody even post on the uh, bulletin board and share with the NGO and the government agency. So we are thinking about uh, how about a mobile web, uh, mobile and plus web tool provided for the government, for the uh, NGOs and for the community. So that's why we are thinking, to, uh, that's why we designed this uh, platform and provide to government agencies in Taiwan and the NGOs in Taiwan and the community in Taiwan. We're trying to uh, like uh, ad hocly to harmonize the information. So for the information from the government agency, that would be certainly like a highly trusted and uh, can be broadcast to every NGO and to the public. So uh, through this system, the NGO, uh, like a contact window, they will receive two push notification and they know how to respond. And the NGO, of course, they can share those information on other social network and the, like, uh, the public can also follow the NGOs about, okay, I would like to know the, what's the latest status report by the NGO. And also the information cl uh, collects that from the internet, we would just use an embedded iframe to let others know. Of course, we need to provide the mobile uh, platform to let the content window and the uh, government agency to receive the most real-time request or the latest uh, status. That's the, uh, the power of the mobile age, right? We also uh, input the like a digital volunteer concept uh, thanks to the Patrick Mir inspired us. So we also like uh, contribute like uh, uh, the digital volunteer to, to contribute to their time and their ability. So we are trying to mention that it doesn't matter what kinds of technology we are using, and uh, we need to stand in their feet to think about uh, what kinds of technology is suitable and practical for them. Thank you.